Hello everyone, Jose J. Garcia with Garcia Mahoma University here. Wanted to bring a video on extensions. I have a single wide, it's only two bedroom, two bath, and I need a third, fourth or fifth bathroom. I mean bedroom or bathroom, it doesn't matter. You know, I've seen a mobile home that had three bedrooms, three baths. True story. <laughs> It was nice. It was interesting because the way they had set it up and clearly they had it made special for that. One thing that a lot of people don't know is that you can go to an actual factory, not a dealership, a factory, maybe a dealership you can pre-order as well. Good question. But you can go to a factory, you can call them, you can call Horton right now and basically say, hey, I'm looking to get a mobile home. I want a double wide, but I want three bedrooms, four bathrooms, and they may be able to make it happen for you. I know three, three is doable. Um, so, you know, just depends on that, but you can, you can actually call and get set up, you know, maybe you want a bedroom bigger than the others. They will do it. So something, of course, it's an expense because they have to especially do it for you, but something that you see happen all too, too often. But one thing they don't do is do extension. So that's the reason why I'm making this video. You see that behind me, that is an extension put on a single wide. So that section there, as big as it is, I mean, and if you look at the mobile home here, you got a 16 by 80. That is the biggest single wise I make, 16 by 80. You have to learn as an investor, by the way. This will help you. But 16 by 80 is typically a three bedroom, two bath, biggest single wide. After that, you go into double wides and same bedroom, but bigger, or you start getting into the four bedroom, three bathrooms, that sort of thing. But extensions, you see these pretty often, especially in mobile home parks. One thing, and the reason I want to make this video is because a lot of people, I think, actually forget many times that, you know, just because you make an extension on it doesn't mean that you can move it with the home. I don't see how that can be possible, maybe in a flatbed perhaps, but uh, interesting how that would work out because usually it is structured to the mobile home. So the mobile home in itself, when it comes to moving them, okay, you have a hitch, whether on this side or the other side, and the, the truck, the moving transportation truck hooks up to it and takes off with it. Something like a extension would be something that is built after the fact, of course, when the home is there, just to add extra space, extra room, whatever they're trying to do with storage, you know, whatever they need that space for. But that is something that you cannot take with you. So keep that in mind. But before we get into that, okay, doing an extension, because a lot of people kept asking, what about permits? Uh, do you need this to go through the city adding? You don't really need too many inspections permits per se when it comes to the city on personal property. I would definitely check with your city county. I'm not going to tell you yes or no. That is a question for your builders or uh, tax assessor's office. Call the court. Get them to send you to the builder's um, department and they will let you know what you need in that county. OK, one thing to keep in mind, too, that, you know, if you have it in a park, if it's in a mobile home park, you're going to want to check with the park office, the manager and or owner if they run the office and ask them you know because the lots were allocated for one mobile home obviously and they have extra space on each side of the mobile home and even the back side so a lot of times even bringing a storage unit may be an issue something they don't allow and if that's the case then they're probably not going to allow you to make an extension something especially that big so that is something that you need to verify with them check with them first um yes if you build it and they don't accept it they're probably going to find you every month you're going to be paying every month additional charge for that to, to come just because of that extension there so i would check with them first and same with the builders if they do allow seek a permit first and you don't get one and you just decide to build it you took the time and you decided to build it anyway you know and then you go asking them they can ask you to tear it down so again you know is that, i'm gonna leave that up to you but i would highly suggest that yes always check with them first and see now, moving on to back to the moving uh, transportation side. So, yes, we have a lot of mobile homes. You know, we had a park that so, um, it didn't sell. It was closing. And I think what they're trying to do or so we got the story, uh, you know, we yet to see until the homes are out of there. Basically, they want all the old mobile homes. And I mean, some of these homes are late 90s, so I don't understand. But I think they may be just trying to clear it out for whatever reasons. I really, truly see more like an apartment coming into that area. I don't know. But they're getting rid of all the mobile homes that supposedly they told the residents that, yes, we want to bring brand new mobile homes here. And then you may have the chance to rent it or own it or whatever. For, but for the time being, we want all these old mobile homes out of here. That being said, a lot of these people have been living there for years and they've added extensions to the backside, to the front. I mean, some of the single wides that are out there look like double wides. That is how big of an extension they were allowed to do. And they did it. And a lot of these people that live in you know, mobile home parks, so, you know, you're always going to find a contractor within the mix. So they may take it upon themselves that instead of trying to get a bigger mobile home, let me just add an extension. One more bedroom, one more bedroom, one more bathroom. And they do it. But when it's time to move these things, that section has to be demolished. 
You cannot take it with you and the movers won't even hook up to it and try to pull it if you have not at least removed it from the house. If you look at this one behind me, it, it is actual plant, planted obviously onto the side of the house, which means it is screwed. However, it is structured, it is part of the home now. If they were trying to move that out of there, it would tear that whole side, it would tear that. I mean, it would be a mess. Uh, I No, I have not seen anybody do that and thank gosh, because you see a lot of crazy stuff, but that has not been done. But extensions, keep in mind those. Keep in mind those things. Yes, you can add. Obviously, it's a lot cheaper to just put a little extension and add a bedroom, even if it is just for storage, versus trying to buy a bigger mobile home and or switch it. You got expenses at that time. But you have to do your due diligence. Check. I would say check first. If it is approved, then go for it. Make it beautiful. This back here looks interesting. I don't know why they didn't just go ahead and go through the tire siding and do the whole home. Then, then they would have a double wide. But they did a good job, okay? Um, Roof-wise on this, we're not going to get into. I mean, you know, when you build a site to one of these sections of the mobile home, you know, mo most most parks will at least ask you to try to make it look like the mobile home. That You know, the parks that do, we do know that allow something like this is one thing that they ask is, okay, but the same vinyl, but so try to paint it the same color, that sort of thing. Parks that allow for you to make extensions are, are, are a little bit more lean back anyway. They're kind of more easy going. Because parks that are more strict with HOAs, with rural regulations, et cetera, you're not building a site on the home. That's not happening. And it's not. I mean, again, part of that is that the lot is so big and it allows for only the mobile home there. So when you add something like this, I mean, here it's obviously spacious, but you will have a mobile home right beside it where they're almost touching, things like that. All right. I hope this video helps. Uh, send me some suggestions. Uh, I'm trying to make a lot more videos, educational, keep this information coming to you, deliver the best, of course, that I have available at the time. Any questions or anything you want me to talk on here, uh, send me an email, j at garciamhu.com. And if you're looking for coaching, visit me, garciamhu.com. Till next time, thank you for watching.